Hi and welcome to my Boo Wake Up series. I would like to say I'm Louisa Quiller Langley, but I have to say on a very topical subject that I've actually just changed my name <laughs> to Aquila Cohab Luthien. You'll be getting used to a lot more of that soon. And um, today I'm with my really good friend Nicholas David Lang, and we're going to talk about soul contract readings, um, which is why it's very topical that I've actually just changed my name. So, um, Nicholas is going to explain to us all about what a soul contract reading is, but before he does, I just want to explain to you, share with you actually, when it was that I met Nicholas, which was some um, two years, two and a half years ago now. In fact, actually it was 2007. Three years. Three yeah. years ago. Three years, yeah. Wow. That's gone quick. Time's <laughs> gone fast. It's gone really fast. So very early on in my journey, um, for those of you who, um, there's the, some of you who know loads about this and some of you who will be new to this, um, after I had my moment of awakening in Dublin, uh, nearly a year after that, I met Nicholas and um, I was absolutely stunned and shocked as Nicholas explained to me or put into context all the things that had been happening for me up until that point by effectively sharing with me a map of my life which amazingly was coded into my birth name and I had no idea that this could actually be but when Nicholas shared it with me I remember having tears <laughs> at the realisation of how much of what I thought had happened to me and I'd experienced was actually perfect and amazing for my journey to help me to that point and in fact then Nicholas helped me and worked with me, found me a new name and just recently again, we found me another new name. <laughs> it was time to change again. But I've asked Nicholas if maybe today, and we're sitting in Nicholas's home today, having a lovely cup of coffee. Um, but I've asked Nicholas if maybe he could share with us um, all about what a soul contract reading is and um, how maybe it could help you on your own journey. So, hi, Nicholas. Hi, <laughs> Louise. Welcome. Yeah. And um, maybe you could start by sharing with people how you first came across the soul contract reading process yourself? Well about 20 years ago I was um, starting my spiritual journey and I was in Arizona going to a uh, spiritual course and with my teacher Frank Alpa who channeled through the system of a soul contract reading work also known as the numerology of Moses and I still remember that day when he gave me a reading in his hotel room and he just took my name worked it all out on the spot and converted it into Hebrew sounds and he read my whole life in one hour and I was absolutely stunned at how accurate that was and, and I decided then and there that I needed to learn how to do this and bring it out to other people especially in England which is where I was living at the time mm -hmm. it just touched me so deeply because no one had explained all of the, the really disparate strange experiences I had in life and then he put it all together and I could see there was a reason there was a divine order I suppose to the yeah. whole thing it wasn't random and that and it all it all fitted together and I could start to see why my life had been the way it was because before that it was total chaos and it was just like I was sort of bouncing off the walls and I didn't know quite what was happening yeah I was lost really <laughs> quite lost and, and it showed me my my purpose and it showed me my purpose for being here and it showed me what what challenges I had to work through to get to that purpose which was really valuable because I was trying to avoid all my challenges because I thought that was, this is just horrible stuff happening. Yeah. But there was a reason for it all. And yeah. It's got clearer the more I've worked on the contract, worked my way through it. So for the, I mean, for people watching, the the people watching the video now, um, what are the key things that you would say that in their own life that they could recognise would be things that would really really help them once they once they had access to this map if they if they had the opportunity to have a soul contract reading with you? Well, what, what it does is that the soul lays down very specific um, challenges or karmic patterns, um, both spiritually and physically, for us to work through. And it's just sort of the hard stuff in life. That, yeah. You know, the brick walls, the things which keep happening all the time, and we wish they'd just go away and we can get on with our life, and life should be happening somewhere else. Well, actually, those are uh, actually a gift ultimately it's it's a challenge or a context for us to overcome for example in my case I was very shy as a child and and the reason for that I've learned is that 
I had to overcome that and become a good communicator and connect with what was deep inside me and bring that out to the world as a spiritual teacher. Mm. So that was the gift I had out of that. It's taken a long time to work through that. Yeah. And the other core pattern I have is one of, of feeling very disempowered as a child. You know, thinking people would put like, up like a victim. People were doing things to me. And I, only real, and I realized once I saw the soul contract, that was only there for me to overcome that disempowerment and to, through the experience of coming into my power and setting clear boundaries and, and knowing where I stood in the world, I could value coming into my power and I wouldn't take it for granted. Yeah. So, so all our biggest challenges contain our biggest gifts, Louise, and, and that's only something which I've really grasped in the past few years. Yeah. I've been struggling with my own patterns for a long time. Yeah. And the contract also reveals what latent talents, both physically and spiritually, we have to break through the, the, um, the challenges we face. Um, so it's nice to know what they are, because then when we align with what the contract's showing us, life flows more easily. You know? Oh God, I can definitely <laughs> agree with that one. Because <laughs> you know, people say life is hard and you need two fathers to get through life. Well, the reason for that yeah. is because people aren't aligned, in alignment with the soul, and that's when it does get hard. But when you align with the soul and understand what it's trying to experience through you, the ego personality, then life flows much more easily. Yeah. Uh, and then the contract also shows the goals or the underlying drive we have in life, both physically and spiritually. What really, what's our deepest dream and and that we want to achieve no matter what? And no matter, no matter what anyone else says, and when we find out what that is, mm-hmm. you know, mine is the sharing of, sharing of knowledge and becoming grounded and connecting with people. And when we start to do that, then everything else flows because our talents, which as we hone them with our karmic patterns, they help us move to our goals if they're well matched. Yeah. yeah. I know, I know certainly quite a few people that I know that have had soul contract readings with you now, and me. <laughs> um, it's been amazing. So like for me, for example, I remember when you were sharing with me that, you know, one of my, one of the things that's in my, my soul contract was it was really important for me to reveal the truth of who I was and reach out to as many people as I possibly could and, and, and not be frightened about doing that. And that was you told me that was after I'd published my first book. Yeah. <laughs> I've been through, I was like, wow. And I know lots of people that I know that have come and had soul contract readings. It's been amazing because it's, it's given them such freedom to really kind of say, oh, wow, I really resonate with that. That's what I've been feeling all along. And now I can just go and be it. It's very freeing, isn't it? Well, if they say the truth will set you free. And when you find out what the truth of the soul is, then um, what happens is that you can actually... Um, become that and the overall ultimate truth that comes out of this is the soul destiny, the overall purpose for being here and when we align with that and connect with it, it touches us at a very deep level and then life can become extremely fulfilling as a result of that. And if people want to come forward to you for a soul contract reading, how can they reach you? Yeah, we have a website um, called Centre with an ER in it for consciousascension.net. You can find out all about it. Um, okay. There's a link on the left hand side. Um, called Soul Contract Reading. And we, we also train practitioners in this work. Um, and we're doing the next training on the 22nd to the 25th of June this year. So it's in a few weeks' time. Because often when people have this work, the practitioners, they really want to go for it. They want to share it with others. And I've, I've done the training and it's fabulous. And also there's a link for Nicholas's um, Centre for Conscious Ascension as well. Dot net on my website as well, which is louise www.louiselangley.com. Thank you so much, Nicholas. Thanks, Louise. <laughs>